Greetings, Rathians. I hope your day is or will go amazing and awesome. Uh, today, we are going to be taking a look at this uh, game here called Beneath a Steel Sky. No, not Beneath. Beyond a Steel Sky. Beyond a Steel Sky is what we're going to be taking a look at today. It is actually the sequel to Beneath a Steel Sky, which was a, a, a cult classic uh, back in the day. I think it was like in the 90s, I think. Uh, it was a point-and-click uh, adventure game. Uh, I think it's available on mobile now and stuff like that. But anyway, so yeah, this came out on the 16th of July. So we're going to uh, take a, a great uh, a, like a first look at this game, uh, first hour. So sit back, relax, let's check it out together, shall we? Right, so a uh, first of all, a big, huge shout out and thanks to Revolution Software Limited who have provided me with a copy of this game to check out and uh, and, and and play through. Uh, so thumbs up, mighty shout out, a shout out to you, uh, guys and girls over there. Um, yeah, so uh, like I, like I said before uh, at the beginning of the of the video, this is Beyond a Steel Sky. It's a it's a sequel to the cult classic, the original. Beneath the Steel Sky, uh, which I actually remember playing and I really, really enjoyed. So when I saw this, I had to, you know, I thought I'm going to jump on it and check it out because it looks so different uh, in, in art style. It doesn't look like a usual point and click adventure kind of thing that I remember the first one being. So um, let's, uh, let's 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 fight. Let, let's go, shall we? Let's let's turn on the audio and, and, and check it out. OK, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Right, um, new game, I think, will be the first thing we do. I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. All right. Beware! Cartoons! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. No. Huh? Besides... This is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Marlo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo fishing. was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be paid. Mmm, yummy. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. What did you do with that robot? They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Ah! Soon, I even built myself a playmate. Always making a robot! I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. Mm. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! Well, that's a fish! <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is that? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Molo! Oh, that was loud. What Max. the deuce? Drop him, you... What Dad, the hell is going on? Help me! Help me! <laughs> he caught a big one. What was that? Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? A finger? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no. is, he, is he dead? Is he is he I told gone? Them. I told them there were demons stalking the dark. She did, she said something. The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. 
I have no idea what happened. The fishing Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. Okay. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Hey, I'm glad I got to read all this. As I left the village, the featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning. As oh wow! Time was beckoned me ever forward. We were out for a long time. Determination was. had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. The sandstorm. Oh sandstorm. no! Run! I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Wow, music's really loud, man. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. Oh, this is a long as intro. My tribe screamed in terror. I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. Union City. Right. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. <laughs> As that's, I left, that's a big upgrade. I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good. Helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. All right. I was lost. And so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Come on, game! I want to play you! <laughs> Scavengers. And in this wasteland... That meant only one thing. People. This is a long intro. Please don't tell me this anymore. Oh, here we go. We have game. We got game. That's better. Man. Oof. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, ah. in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. Hey, comic book. Do we have control now? Oh, we do. Okay. Use whilst all the arrow keys to move. Um, use the mouse to look around. Rah! All right, you can look around. Beautiful sky. Um, gang gang. <laughs> What's a gang gang? Gang gang. Hold shift to run. I'm gonna run this way. Goodbye. Oh no, hang on a minute. Then can I check this out? Oh, is that that's the uh what do you call it? The um I that's... Needed to speak to the girl. Oh, okay. Oh not that we can't go that way. But can I have a look at the can I look at the that way? No? Okay. Yeah, I've got to, I, I have to go this way then. Oh, there's a load more buzzards. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. What's she doing? Hey, excuse me. Oh. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that. Searching for a vehicle that. Ah, uh, no! Damn birds! Wait, I just. Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. All right, the bed took it. Okay, Ooh, are they gonna eat him? That ain't a Big Mac. 
uh, objects that Foster can interact with are highlighted with a reticle. Uh, center your screen on a chosen object and move and move closer to it. Okay, let's look at the body. Apparently, that's something we want to do, right? <laughs> uh, when an object reticle is solid, click the left mouse button to call up the interact menu. Use the mouse cursor to highlight a menu option, and then click the left mouse button to select it. Right? Can I uh, uh, can I just like examine gang gang? The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. Oh, they're called gang gang um gang gang birds, right? In in can I look at this inventory? Oh no, my inventory to use on the bird. I use the mouse wheel to select a, uh to uh, use the mouse wheel or click the carousel's arrows to scroll through Foster's inventory items. Select a compatible inventory item and click the menu option to use it on an object. Would you like some pie? <laughs> How about a crowbar? Like, like, use the crowbar on the beds, shoot them away. Oh, it's actually doing it. Well, that didn't do it. <laughs> there were a few things that would scare gang gangs, and a crowbar was not one of them. I would like, need to find another solution. If that, if I was the, I would not do that. If I had a, if I had a, if I had a crowbar and there's a little buzzards around me, I'd like, I'd like, like waving it around like a lightsaber or something, right? Really? <laughs> What's that? All right, okay. A anyway, no way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. Oh, we have a pie though. I, I have a pie, right? How about that, right? We use that inventory. Was, was this? Pie, it says. Use the pie. We even need to open our backpack. That's great. Just falls out the bottom. Oh, but they, they, they took the they took the pie though. They took it. But now we can get to the body and have a look. For whatever reason, best known to us that we want to do this. Examine. Been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. Oh really? Huh. What a great intro to this game. <laughs> Big story than a than a corpse. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. Okay. What do, you, what do you think to the art style, by the way? Leave a comment down below if you like this type of art style in games. Like, I'd like, I'd love to know. Union City. All right. It's like an interactive cartoon city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Oh, you left Joey in charge of the city? The AI robot that he made? Well, that's not gonna go well, is it? If anything, like, Terminator is taught as anything, <laughs> is that you can so trust the AI and robots. Oh look, welcome! The O is a bit <laughs> Well, Well, uh... Welk me. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, no, it kind of looks like a... Flotation thing. Um, hello? hello? It's me, Foster! Huh? I think. Halt. What's this? Welcome, unregistered Gaplander. Well, unregistered Gaplander. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence to see your you. city registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for 
If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, to see you. I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a Gaplander like you. I bet. And what is it you do? I tell Gaplanders like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. Oh, that's that's, that's his job. That um, oh yeah, uh, missing kid. Yeah, yeah, the kid's the kid missing. Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. All right, registration. Tell me about that. How do we do this? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U chip for your temporary ID. A U chip. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. Okay. What's Minos? What's what's Minos? Device? What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Like Skynet. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Okay. Not even the vending machines. Oh, we can't even use the blending register. machine. Can't even get like a packet of chips, crisps, or a... anything. Um, it was it was a U chip. What What's exactly that? is a U chip? Don't they teach you Gaplanders anything? A U chip stores your ID and All personal right. data in a micro implant. The immigration terminal is easy to find. What's keeping you? All right, we're the going. The fruit is indicated by these signs. All right, we're going. All right, bye. bye for now. Pleasure. Wow. She seemed happy. Shush, you're not. You, you useless. Right, where, where do we go? Ah! She's following me. <laughs> where, oh, we're gonna follow the signs, right? Oh, there they go. There they are. Look. There's a hand. Holographic sign. Examine it. Sign was directing me towards immigration. Is she follow? Is How can I help? She's following me. You follow me and leave me alone. All right, we're gonna go this way. There was a strange smell, and it was coming from the truck. Well, yeah, because it looks like a garbage truck, so it's probably garbage. There's a murder of gangs. That's what they call a group of crows as well, right? It's called the call it a murder. Bit, bit of bit of education for you. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely gonna use the crowbar yeah, this time. Clearly, weren't scared of me. Or my crowbar. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing we're not going to investigate that thing then. Oh, here's, here's more holographic signs. Okay, let's go this way. Interesting. This very much reminds me of Borderlands, you know? Hand device. What can we do with this? Examine it. I guess it. this was the immigration terminal. Oh, it is, is it? It doesn't say immigration terminal anywhere. I guess we'll just use it and see what happens. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Oh, well, it Please is. Place your hand below to receive your U chip implant. There we go. Ouch. Oh, did it? A U chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. Oh, that's okay. Door controls. Can we get inside there? Authorized citizen ID required. Oh, oh, because we've got that U-chip thing in now. I don't think it's going to let us in anywhere that we're not allowed to go into. Okay. I wonder if we can hack it or something. That'd be great. We'll get in places that we need to. Um. So what on earth are we supposed to do now, then? We're going to go try and find that girl. Oh, well, there's, a, there's a person over here. Maybe maybe they know. Wait, what? Oh, there's a help desk. Who do we... Let's go, let's go speak to a real person. There's a technician. Hey man, what's going on? What up? Excuse me. Oh, hello, visitor. Hey mate. What's up with your bollard? Maybe I can help. Excuse me, it's personal. <laughs> you? Sure. Hey, listen, Mr. Gaplander. It's totally cute. Mr. That you Gaplander. Help, but this mechanism's a teeny bit more advanced than what you're used to. Really? You'd be surprised. I'm pretty handy with these sorts of things. Just give me a hammer. Sorry, got to get back Smack to this that thing. 
It ain't gonna fix itself. Well, apparently, oh, I, we can interact with it. I can interact with this one. Like, if I if I click it, what do we examine one of the it? Posts was jammed. It's making up and down motions and noises. <laughs> oh, there's something in it. I I I have a I have a crowbar. I bet I can unjam it with my crowbar, right? Let's do this. That's like that's, that's right. That's right. You show him. Show him how awesome we are. Oh yeah. Hey, we fixed it. We? Yeah, piece of cake. Dude, we. Council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. He's useless. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? Um, we're looking for the missing kid, all right? Hey, have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh, uh, he was kidnapped, he man. He was kidnapped, snatched from his village, and brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, no. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. Okay. Get back to work then, Hobbsworth. So, what? We just, like, held him out. <laughs> we, we got nothing for it. Like, no. Like, no, not even a hubba bubba. <laughs> we never get anything. Bridge controls. Okay. Um. Y use it. Error. Insufficient permission. Insufficient citizen permission. ID required. A citizen ID is required. Well, how on earth do we get a citizen's ID? Let's let's ask his help desk, right? Help desk should be able to help. It says it right in the name. Help desk. Oh. Greetings. Uh, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Welcome to Union City. Oh, it's okay. My name is Greta. It is my duty and Greta. pleasure to answer any questions you may have She's about Greta. Union City and the local area. How may I help you today? Um. Uh. Should we really mention about the? Uh, should I really mention about the missing kid? Do you think? I'll remember about this U chip thing. Maybe, maybe if I talk about the U chip, you know, just. Simple stuff. Maybe it'll let us cross the bridge. This U chip thing. What does it do? It allows you to interact with all the Minos devices in the area. Well, we know that. As well as storing all your personal information. Okay. Sounds kind of invasive. Yeah. We prefer the word transformative, sir. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Well, yeah, I think the next thing I'm going to ask is about the missing kid, then, right? A child has been kidnapped from my village. From your village? Was the child a registered citizen of Union City? Um, no, his name is Milo and... Polite apology, Minos could only concern itself with <laughs> registered citizens. Okay. Uh, I was hoping you'd be able to help. All right. And isn't hope a wonderful thing? In the meantime, do you have any other queries? Oh, wait, wait, wait Joey, what about what about the robot that we, that we left here? You know, what's going so, on with that? Joey's still running things around here? He was until just a few years ago. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Hope he didn't screw things up. Not at all, sir. Joey the Savior was a great leader. The savior. Citizen happiness reached unprecedented levels. Oh well, hear it. sounds good then. I happen to be an old friend of his. Oh, we're all friends of Joey, sir. Gone but not forgotten. Gone but not forgotten. Can we talk about more about Joey? Is there some way I can speak to Joey? Sadly not, sir. Oh, you mean he's not around at all? Gone to a better place, sir. Went huh. to find peace after a lifetime of service. Some say he strode out into the gap one morning. Others say he took a boat at dusk and went to explore other lands. So he just left then. So who runs the city now? The Council of Elected Ministers, of course. Uh, okay, what's this stalker? I'm looking for a vehicle. Has anything come through here? No. Oh, that's the, the stock of vehicle. vehicle. Right, okay. With legs instead of wheels? Polite apology. <laughs> I cannot discuss the details of other visitors' vehicular movements. Okay. <laughs> this vehicle, it kidnapped a child. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Have I so suddenly changed? <laughs> what was that? Can 
a nice day. In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. Um. So how on earth are we supposed to get across this bloody bridge? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and investigate the land a little bit more, okay? What is this over here? Uh, ven oh, oh, vending machine. Oh, there's a terminal. What can we do with this terminal? Use it. What does it do? Connecting to uh, Minos. Minos. Minos? Was it Minos? What is this? Uh, so we, oh, let's have a look at our personal data. What does it have on us? View QDOS history. Your photo archive. We have no photos. Home and exit. Personal data. View QDOS history. It's like locked or something. What's this? C plus temp ID. Oh, is this a temporary ID we have? Oh, okay. We're gonna be not be able to do anything with a temporary ID. Wait, wait. There's that dude over there sitting in the in the shade. It's an old man. Oh, it's the trucker. There's the sorts of him. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you? Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. We ain't selling anything, Grouse. No, I'm not selling any. A likely story. <laughs> Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. Oh, really? Got a pair of beats around his neck. <laughs> um, um. Is the really the first thing you're gonna say to a guy is, "Hey, what's that stink?" <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I don't want to alarm you, but there's a strange odor wafting from the back of your truck. I don't smell out. <laughs> really? Because it's like. Except the splendid scent of tasty mini K's, the finest organic knackverse the Gap has to offer. Knackverse? Don't believe me? Look at those gang gangs. They love my knackverse. <laughs> Can't chase them away. What the heck in heck is it? It's mini K. So your truck is full of mini knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K, best in the Gap. Even contains some real meat. <laughs> You're welcome some. to take it, full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Okay. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. W wallop the bumper. Step two, do a little jig. Do a little jig. <laughs> Step three... Pull the door and jerk it hard. <laughs> jig, Excuse me. It? <laughs> That's it, lad. And remember the order. All right. Um. Oh wait, wait. Let's, let's ask him about this music again. You haven't seen a child. I don't think anyone's gonna give us any information right now. <laughs> Pinch something of yours. No, he was kidnapped from a nearby village. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. Oh. I've never seen any come through here. Have you asked those kids hmm. over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. Oh, this... What? Hang on a minute. Um, all right, bye. Seeing you. Hi. What kids? What playground? Oh, there's a playground over there. Wow, okay. Right. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna thump, thump it. Jig and, and tug, right? Let's, let's... Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back ah. of the truck. Do I? Why am I? Why am I even trying? What do I need that for? <laughs> what is this stinky? Whatever it is, like a stinky sausage. I'm intrigued by this thing over here. What? What is this? This is. Oh, this is a nice, beautiful waterfall. Can I touch it? There was an electric fence back there. I wondered if it was live. Okay, maybe don't touch it. Oh, <laughs> no. I was shocked to discover that it was. No wonder the gang gangs kept clear of this death trap. Really shocked. It's the best gang you got. Um, what was this? Grab it's independent trader. Oh, oh, there's a white bench. We need to speak to these these guys first. You think? What's this sign? Let's have a look at the sign. What does it say? Grab its independent traders. I bought from sketchier places out in the gap. Um, all right. 
Let's see if I can, can I use this workbench? No, I can examine it. Bench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over reliant on some old deflated tires. Oh, 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 oh. I recognized oh. the girl. She was the one who'd run away oh, from me earlier. Oh, it is, look. It is, that's her. Excuse me. Hello? You. Yeah, me. Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my date. What? Lost your what to who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Okay. My name's Ember. Alright. Uh, what's she doing with the dead body, though? What are you doing out there in the desert? This looks a bit course. weird. Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Okay. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deet, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Big now, Steve? excuse me. What's a deet? My deet, man. DTT. Data transfer tool. Deet. Oh, okay. Deet. What's the deet for? Deet. Duh. Transferring data. Hmm. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted oh. me, and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. So that guy's ID in the chip in the palm of his hand, she was trying to like like get the get, kind of get the data from it using that deep thing. And I wonder if that's whose information we may get later on somehow and, and, and kind of like that becomes our ID then. And that's how we can maybe get into the city. Um, yeah, who's this Big Steve? Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. Looking for the purple one. Looking for the purple one. Uh, okay. Oh, missing kid. I'm looking for a boy named Milo, who might have come through here recently. I'm absolutely sure I haven't seen your kid. Now, stop asking. Alright, fair enough. That's all for now. Thanks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Anytime. Oh, wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I, I forgot. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. Hey, 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 Amber, I, I wanna, what do you got? Inventory talk. Hi. Trade. Hi There's no again. trade option? Oh, there we go, what trade. trade. Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often since inside's got like everything and free. Mm. But it happens. Sounds pretty Suppose good though. a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my deep, that is. Alrighty, ready, ready. Okay. See you around. I think that's the next thing I've got to do. Got to figure out where Big Steve is. He's the purple one. He's got the purple head. Eagerty. Um, and I just got to try and get the deep from him. Uh, what the deuce is good? Was they chained down the roundabout? What? Hey, 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 kid. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember. Pixel. Rhymes with pickle. So hey, Pixel's a great name. I'm Foster. I remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. Oh wow, rude. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. What's about this roundabout? What's wrong with the roundabout? Why is it chained down? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobbsworth put a chain on it. Oh. He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Uh, What's yeah. your story, Pixel? What are you doing? Well, I'm eight years old, and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math, and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. <laughs> oh, wow. Comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? No, not really. We're Bye. done. Bye. Do it if you need anything. No, we're good. We're good. Um, let's look at the chain, though. A sturdy chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. Wait, can, we, can I use, like, my, my crowbar? Let's see if I can prize it off for you, kid. You spin around. Go on, that's right. Oh, yeah! 
Yeah, get on that thing. Enjoy. Push me. Oh, oh okay. Uh, push him. Hold on. Yeah. Woo! Wow, that was one fast spin. Is he gonna, is he gonna pass out? Looks like he's gonna pass out. No, no. All right, again, again. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do it one more time, and then we're gonna ask him some questions, and maybe he will, he'll let, it, he'll help us. I don't know. We're gonna find that purple-headed bird. I don't know where that one will be. All right. Um. Oh look, he's. <laughs> oh, he liked it. Awesome. All right, now now we can toss one again. Hey, me again. Wanna push me on the swings? Maybe later. Oh. Uh, missing kid. I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. Maybe he'll say something You're now. You're asking the right guy. I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? Okay. How many's that? Like, at least twelve. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. Okay, no Bye. kids. Call it if you need anything. Hmm, alright, so he's not seen anything. And he's seen at least 12 kids come through. <laughs> um, actually, while we're here, can we look at, oh, what about up there? Can, I, can he actually use the swing? No, it doesn't even swing. Huh, alright. Uh, oh, sand pit. Sand mean? pit. In the desert. The irony sure wasn't lost on me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're in the desert. They're going to sand pit. All right. Um, I wonder if Hobsworth's seen uh, the, the purple headed bird. Uh, what was it called again? A big Steve? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Uh. What was this? Strange bench? It was a tire or modern art. I couldn't tell which. Uh, oh yeah, it was a tire. Can you can you see? Can you see this like pebbleated bird anyway? I don't see him anywhere. Uh. No. Oh whoa. I think I found him. Big Steve. Hey, Big Steve. Take tool. Take it. Grab him. The bird's beak looked especially vicious. Oh, where'd he go? What? <laughs> What's he got? Did he fly away? What the? So, so. Is that him? Oh, he's flying around. Okay. So now what the heck do I do? Do I just, do I just like walk away and come back or something? Oh, maybe we'll get something from the vending machine. Um, and we, and we can maybe use it to like lure him in or something. Spankles can. Machine ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda, labeled Spankles. <laughs> wow. Currently at your maximum allotted Spankles allowance. Have a nice day. Yeah, like one a day. One Spankles a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then what's this? A terminal. An oh, information point. Hang on a minute. I didn't see this before. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City Fact File. The Union City walls were forged in 1994 by a small team of resilient workers. A common okay. misconception is that the team was formed of Australian citizens. I would have imagined this so. Could be further from the truth. The city wall was constructed using British steel imported along with workers from Hull in the United Kingdom. No way! Many of the citizens what? of Union City can wait, 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 what? their ancestry back to that small and very dedicated That's my city! Of immigrants. 
This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. What? Wait, just, what? That just blew. Does the game know where I live? What? Does it wait? How does it know? How does it know my exact? Is that just coincidence? Let me know in the script in, in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below if when you played this game, it said your country and and, and, and city where you live. That's just crazy. Pick it up from the from my from my computer, right? Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. There's Big Steve again, look. He's got the thing in his in his right, let's examine him. One particularly large and familiar bird stood out from the rest. Right, okay. What do we have in our inventory? Um I have an Android finger <laughs> and a can of spa. Oh. Man, I can't use any of this. Okay, okay. crowbar. The only thing I can use is the crowbar. Oh, no, it doesn't like that. These were tough desert birds. <laughs> like that. Having a crowbar around wouldn't phase them. All right. Mm -hmm. So what on earth am I supposed to do? Oh, maybe I need to get the like sausage thing from behind here. Maybe that's how I do it, but how do I get rid of these? I don't have a pie anymore. Oh, do I... oh hang on a minute. I didn't rate my chances oh. against all of those razor sharp beaks. All right, okay, okay. What about what about the uh, what about the can? No. Crowbar. The gang gangs clearly weren't scared of me or my crowbar. <sighs> Well, that sucks. Those birds weren't going to let me <laughs> Oh, shush, man. The the truck. It's fine. Um. All right, I'm going to speak to this guy. All right. Hey, Hobsworth, man. Excuse me. Well, hey there, stranger. How's your day going so far? Terrible. Well, I... Great. I'll bet. Anything old Hobsworth can do for you? By the way, just so you know, I'm on the clock. Yes, of course. No problem. Uh... Joey? Tell me about Joey. Praise Joey. Not a day goes by where Praise I don't Joey? thank him for the happiness and prosperity he brought to Union City. Joey and I go way back. We must be talking about the same one. Well, it depends. Huh. Our Joey was kind, benevolent, generous... Firm, resolute, moral, magnanimous, proactive, and a friend to all citizens. That's alike. a bit much. <laughs> Does that sound like your Joey? No. Well, mm. yeah. I'm, I'm my not. Joey was more of a sarcastic pain in the. But he was my best friend. Um. See you around, Hobsworth. Oh, before I forget. I really appreciate your patience back there when I was fixing the bridge. Oh, you're welcome, man. Let me thank you properly. Give me your hand. Oh. Uh, okay. There you go. Your kudos just got a boost. My kudos? Thanks. I think. Keep a smile on your face. Oh, like, like kudos. Like kudos. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Alright. Kudos. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are they talking? Wait. Do I do I not see them until they get close? That's interesting. Hmm. Um. Okay. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna go and talk to the. I'm gonna talk to the the old man again and ask him about. Uh, like, tell him there's like a load of. A load of those uh, gang gangs there, and I can't get in. How's it going, Wendell? Can't complain. 
Not like anybody'd listen if I did. Hmm. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> What's on your mind? Uh, the trick does. The doors, they're locked shut. Not locked, jammed. Oh, and I'm all out of lubricant. So how can I get in? Yeah. Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. No, 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 I, know, I know about the First ritual, man. Give Boom. A for a good Jiggle and, and then Do something a else. Jig. A jig. Aye, a jig. Then pull the door hard. Pretty technical, huh? Have to move with the times, pal. Um, okay, what's this that you have? Those mini K's you mentioned. Yeah. As I say, grab an handful. Truck's open. I'll leave you be. I'm what fine. What the heck am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm not even what I'm supposed to do. Uh, what about the bin? Can I rummage through the bin or something? I don't know why I would do that, but okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's, that's a statue of Joey. It was a statue of my friend Joey. I couldn't imagine why they would have erected it. If Milo had been taken this way, I was sure Joey would help me find him. I needed to find someone around here who'd seen the stalker. Um, well, yeah, that's true. But we also, um, I also need to figure out how I'm supposed to get that. That out of the, off the bed. Uh... Oh, hang on a minute. Do we use the electricity, the, the electrical zap to zap the bed somehow? But how are we going to get it over here? Right, with the waterfall, what what can I do? I can, I can examine it or touch There's it. something strange about the water. And there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing an electric fence. Oh, so the, it's not even real. Okay. <laughs> um sculpture a metaphysical symmetry of curvature man and machine if that was art i must have been missing something all right um i'm missing something what am i missing can i use this workbench no i can only examine it all right what what else can she what else can she trade in um amber Hi again. Um, yeah. I've just seen Big Steve, and he's yeah. still got your deed. Thanks a bunch. I hope it rips his gizzard on the way through. No, I mean, he's still got it in his beak. Well, that's something. Not sure what, but it's something. Um, I don't know what else to do. Uh, did we ask her about the stalker? Did I can't remember if I asked about the strange well. vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No. No, no. This one. one had legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. Okay. Um should we should we mention about the dead body? I don't know. Uh it's about the U chip. So are you digging that guy's U chip out of his hand? Data transfer. I told you. Data transfer. I cloned his ID data onto the deed for later. What happens later? Well, you know, maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do swapsies. For a price. Uh, yeah. Or, or you give me his ID and I can get into the, the place, right? I don't know. Thanks, Ember. Okay, so she wasn't going to dig his chip out. She was trying to copy the data off it. Okay, so that's, uh, that makes... Makes sense. Um, can I climb up there? Hey, what do we do? Okay, let's start to pixel again. Hey, me again. Want to push me on the swings? Maybe later. No, I already, you already said that. Um, stalker. Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago. Oh, then definitely no. Okay. But wait. Two nights ago, my brother Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind oh. of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. I bet that was it. Huge, but not real? I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? 
I don't know what to believe. Uh, where is Voxel then? Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real okay. question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe oh, he'll talk to me. I thought for a second that he'd been kidnapped Maybe. as well. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. Yeah, there he's we go. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem oh, okay. Oh, I bet it's that one with a tire. See you around. Okay, I'll go. Nora's little dude. Right, right. I bet it's that one with a, with a, with a crazy tire. That one over there. Yeah. I've got a good feeling about this. Hey, hey, Voxel's hideout. See? We'll, go, we'll just talk Hello, to him. Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Um... Uh, the monster, yeah. I wanted yeah. to ask you if you've seen any monsters. There you go. Yeah. Let's play his game, How right? How do you know about the monster? Uh, Ember, Pixel, well, yeah, Pixel. Your brother, Pixel. Stupid, stupid Pixel. He's so stupid. Go away. Wait, what? Hey. Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. <laughs> what? Uh, monster? Voxel, about this monster. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster oh, that's a good across one. the desert for days. I think he came through here, and I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw Ooh. it. Oh, it bravery! Gone. There we go. Play it was night. big and beasty, and it eats children. And I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Oh, but yeah, that was the, that was one the thing, thing at a time. It was big, like a giant dog. A giant dog? Mm -hmm. That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. Oh, I heard right. kids crying inside its tummy. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. How did it sneak off? After that, I got in here. No way am I going to let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? Um, yeah, how do we get into Any the city? Ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Yeah. Then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. Mm -hmm. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. So giving us a firecracker? A firecracker. I was gonna use it to kill the monster. Oh well. But you can have it. Um, what do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. What Throw do we do it with the monster? But cover your ears. Okay. Um, yeah. Tell us more. How do we get into the you city? Know how I can get inside the city? I already said you need to get across the river and through the big doors. All right. Thanks, Voxel. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of mm. hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, Voxel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken. That Milo. definitely sounds like now it, right? I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. So there had to be a way in through the main gates. How on earth do we get through the main gates? So I think this is it, right? This is this is the main gates where we we helped with the barrier, right? With the bollard thing. Is there's the uh, there's the river? Oh, that looks great. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. And yeah, we're somewhere we're gonna get across there. Uh, what the heck is that? What was that? Where did they come from? Can I can we use it? Error. Insufficient yeah. permission. What? Citizen ID required. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna get this bloody thing from, the, from this from this bird, right? Um, but I can't use anything in my inventory. What? Oh, the firecracker! How about that? Yeah. Get you on this, Big Steve. I'm a firecracker, Steve. Big Steve. Oh. I guess Woo! That Big Steve had dealt with worse than firecrackers out here. Are you kidding me? Oh, the waste of a firecracker! This is the firecracker. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Oh. Wow. How about, can I get another can of soda? Apologies, but you have exceeded your spankles allowance. Well, no more spankles for me. And a day limit didn't exactly support a thirst for spankles. Mm hmm. Okay. Can I, can we get up this thing? No. What on earth am I supposed to... Oh, a truck hood. Oh, hang on a minute. We'll just open up your truck. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Battery compartment. What? There was an empty space where the power cell should have been. Uh, let's jam our crowbar our in crowbar there. crowbar could do plenty of things, but... <laughs> Powering a truck was not one of them. Uh, what about what about this juice? Yeah, no, it's not full of energy. All right, no mind. Oh, I, oh, I can right click and cancel my action. All right. Um, so I need something to go into that, a power cell or something. Oh, hmm. What if I can trade with? The girl, what's her name? Ember. Mm, maybe, maybe, you know, let's sell Pixel we've spoken to Joey. Hey, Pixel. Uh, vo uh Voxel. Uh, the city. Do you know how to get into the city? Oh, uh, if I knew that, would I be living in this car park? Ah, uh, true. True, true, true. Do you know anything about the city? Yes, it's amazing. How do you mean? You should hear Mr. Hobbsworth talk about it. It's okay. like you say, I want a sandwich, and blam, you've got a sandwich in your hand. It sounds like a nice you place. You your sandwich on the floor and make a mess, and it's instantly cleaned up. You don't have to do anything yourself. And then you say, I want another sandwich, and blam, another sandwich. Okay. And that's for like anything, not just sandwiches. Is this going to be like full of spoiled people? I think it might be. See you around. Call it if you need anything. Oh, dude, if I need anything. I can't use this workbench. Dang it. What am I supposed to do? Right, hang on a minute. Uh, it's off. Amber. Hi again. Um, the city. Any ideas on getting into the city? You got one of them new chips? Yeah, just got one from the terminal over there. Uh, that one's no good. They've given you a cheap temp ID so the droids don't run you over. Bridge only oh, opens okay. for citizens. So is mate. Uh, all right, all right. I spoke, I to, spoke Voxel. to Voxel about yeah. his monster problem. You what? I think his monster is the vehicle I've been tracking. Oh, good for you. So you mm -hmm. told him the monster was real? Won't be seeing him anytime soon. Nice one, Super Dead. Uh, easy, easy. Voxel's a skittish one, isn't he? Let's keep talking about Voxel. Let's see what happens. How'd you know where to find him anyway? Pixel told me. Mate. I don't know you, you don't know me, you don't know them. Let's keep it that way. Stop asking questions, Ooh. finish your business, and move along. Oh, Meanwhile, wow. Meanwhile, where's Pixel? Me and him need to have some words about stranger danger. Um, tell me about this U-chip. I got a U-chip with a temporary ID from over there. Good for you. They're free. Can I get into the city with it? Well, she already said no. no. And yes. What? And no. Break that down for me. No attempt ID so they can keep track of you around here. Won't get you inside. Uh -huh. Yes, I could deep that corpse's ID onto a U chip. Told you! And no, because as you well know, my deet's been eaten. Uh, it says about the dead body or what something. What are you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? I told you already. I was deeting his ID. Oh, yeah, she did tell us that. Yeah. Only now, Big Steve has my deet and ipso facto the ID. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I got you. I'm going to try to get your deet back from that bird. Cool. 
and I'm going to try to forget how annoyed I am that it was taken in the first place. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So Big Steve is the bird with your... Right, tell us more about Big Steve. Maybe That's we can right. find out the how to spook him. One. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> what is it supposed Peace. to do? <laughs> Ember's deed had a citizen ID stored on it. Yeah. We suspected that ages ago. All right, Hobsworth. All right, you must know, Hobsworth, man. Was it? Ah, oh, hello again, stranger. Uh, the stock. I'm think. looking for a vehicle that might have passed this way. Well, we know it came through. What kind of vehicle? Maybe I can help. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I know it has four giant legs. Mm -hmm. Legs? <laughs> Word to the wise man. Vehicles have wheels. No, uh, well. Whoa. That doesn't sound like any vehicle I've ever heard of. All right. And I've got more magazines under my bed than you can even imagine. Uh, I need to get into the city, this man. This may sound like a stupid question, but how do I actually get into the city? Mm hmm Well, first thing would be to head over to the city gates. Uh, yes. Yeah. If you got a valid ID, and just Which we your don't. Which we don't. And the bridge will open. Valid for mm. what? Now, that is a stupid question. You need a vehicle to get through the big doors there. If you have transport clearance, like that old fella with the smelly truck, you just drive up, scan your ID, and roll right onto the elevator down to the cargo bay. Okay. So now it looks like I need to find some power cell to power the truck to then maybe get use the truck to get in. Maybe that's what I need to do. So what's your deal, Hobbs? Yeah, tell us about you. I am a diagnostician for the Ministry of Comfort. And what exactly does a diagnostician do? I find problems. And fix them? Uh, no, I just mm. diagnose them. Minos fixes them. All right. Uh, whatever. See you around, Hobbs. Yeah, see you later. Keep a smile on your face. Well, we l at least I found out something from him. Yeah. Uh. Uh, okay. Well, now that we've spoken to him, we know that. Maybe if we talk to the old guy with the truck, maybe we'll maybe uh, we can come to some arrangement or something. I don't know. Hey, Wendell. Hello, stranger. How goes the bottle? Uh, the vehicle. Do you need a vehicle to get into the city? You do, but I don't. I've got Brucey here. What I do need is a new power. Set. Oh, there we go. See, so we can work together. What are you doing? Are you mad? Walk into the city. <laughs> There's guns guarding their main gates, and they mm. make mincemeat out of you, Sonny Jim. Uh, okay, tell us more about Brucey. This is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is W? Well, some of it. Some of it? Okay. Uh, the oh, power cell. Your truck's power cell has drained. Yep. Aye. Emptier than a politician's vows. Hmm. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder. What out of can action. we do to power? I was told to go it, park for a, a few hours. Stone. Turned into a few days. Hmm. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the air con, mind. Oh, that's why it stinks. The blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained tonight. 13.7 volts. They still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice right. until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Have you spoken to Hobsworth? Okay. Didn't I say someone competent? That muffin doesn't know a pan out <laughs> from a Chapman strut. Um... Mind if I take a look at the power cell? Yeah, apparently, yeah. I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Hobbsworth has it. Hobbsworth has it. Right. have it charged in a jiffy. Oh, hey, all right. How long ago was that? About a million jiffies ago. My guess is it's either gathering dust or it's being ground to dust. Okay, well. Any other vehicles around here I could use? Yeah. There's an out round here. I need to get into the city as soon as possible. Yeah, come on. Uh, me too, pal. But Brucey is not going anywhere. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, no so purpose. all you need to get into the city is a charged power cell. Land snakes alive, yes. <laughs> a power cell. 
Do you want me to write it down? No, you're all you're right. No, you're right. no, I got it. I'll be back. Right, I'll now, be I need, now I need to go to Hobsworth and uh, get this bloody power cell. But how are we going to charge that? Oh, maybe if I put it into the uh, the, the, the electric fence. But that'll work. Hang on. Talk. Hey, Hobsworth. Hey, what can I do for you? Uh, Wendell's power cell. How are things going with Wendell's power cell? It's in my office. But how long until it's charged? Uh, it's hard to say, but it's on uh, the list. Come on, man. Any updates on Wendell's power cell? Not yet, but I'll get on to it soon. Oh, in his office. How are we going to get into his office? Because I think his office won't let me in because I need the I need, I need the ID. How can I get into the city? Oh. Like I said, only registered citizens with transport can get into the city. Uh -huh. See you around, Hobsworth. Right, okay. Keep a smile on your face. So it looks like I need to get the ID thing first. I need to get it off Big Steve. Then I might be able to uh, trick my way into Hobsworth's uh, office, which I guess is here. All right, I guess it, I bet it's here. Authorized citizen ID required. You gotta be kidding me. Um, can I use this again? I've learned to think twice before just slapping my hand on something. I guess not. Well then, I've, I've established a few things. Uh, one, um, I have no idea how to get rid of these. <laughs> uh, but no, actually, we've gathered a few things though, right? The reason why that's stinking is because it's run out of juice. It's run out of juice because the battery's gone. Uh, Hobsworth is supposed to be charging it, but it's useless and not going to do that. Uh, I can't get in to get the battery because... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that door open now? Oh, Hobsworth went in. Hang on. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. By the sound of things, Hobsworth was hard at work. I decided not to interrupt him. What? No way. Are you kidding me? Hey, man. By the sound of things, oh, Hobsworth was hard at work. I decided not to interrupt him. <laughs> Are you kidding? Hey, man. Hey, man. Let me, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Hey, Hobsworth. Hey. What can I do for you? Uh, I don't know, man. Keep a smile on it. your face. Ah, oh. I I need it. I need to come back and check this game out later. I think. To try. It's gonna take me a while to figure this out. Ah, <laughs> oh. interesting uh, puzzles and stuff like that. It reminds. It just remind me back of playing the point and click adventure games we need to go here and get a thing done go over there to help get this other thing done and then like they, they all kind of like come together to actually progress through the main story and stuff like that um but yeah i do also remember as well just kind of like trying things out for the sake of trying it because i i would get to points and i'm like i have no idea what i do now ah <laughs> oh, i'm getting that vibe though i'm getting that feeling from it just like back in the day playing game, games like uh, Castle the Monkey Island um, and that type of stuff, you know. And of course, uh, the first one. Oh, there's an old terminal there as well. Turn it on. Before we, before I go. Nothing happened. Probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out. Of course it has. Of course it has. Well. This is obviously only very beginning of the game. Art style is obviously it's this uh, cell shaded kind of Borderlands style type of thing. So if you that's your type of jam, uh, you know you might like this. Uh, very much I can get those vibes of the old point and click style games when you're going around and uh, needing to do this thing to do that thing, like I said, uh, but without the actual point and clicking. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, the voice acting is a little bit meh, I think. I don't know. The jokes are very corny. Uh, but I can see it's lighthearted humor. Um, yeah, but I, I definitely... I, 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 I want to get into Union City. I want to see what this was this like inside there. Again, getting these like cyberpunky vibes uh, from, from it. So, 
Yeah, I mean, it was, it was okay. It was it was okay, but yeah. The, the, but man, that, that first... The, the, the first, like, the intro is just way too long. I feel like that, that comic book style thing is just like... I don't know how long that was. It definitely felt like it was longer than 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 what it needed to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do, what do you guys think? Uh, what to what you saw so far? I mean, obviously this was only like the first hour of the game. Um, I I definitely think there's a decent amount of hours into this. I want to want to figure out what's happened to this Joey. You know, I'm very intrigued, very intrigued by it. But yes, yeah, definitely feels more of the chill uh chill vibes going on um yeah thanks for watching uh i, sh I stream every single weekday uh on twitch.tv forward slash mighty wrath links in the description below and probably down here as well uh, and i stream every single weekday from 10 a.m uk time so uh please come and hang out with us and check us out there and every week i put out a couple of youtube videos usually every wednesday and friday as well just like this one right here so don't forget to go and check out some of the other videos thank you so much for being here appreciate that and again thank you so much to uh, Revol uh, revolution software for providing me with a copy of this i may check this out a little bit later again another day um let me know in the comments below by the way if there's anything that you've seen that you'd like for me to check out the first hour of or something um and i'll put it on my to-do list and we'll see about getting a copy and, and checking it out but anyway thank you so much for watching stay awesome stay safe and stay mighty you think with all this, I would have panicked by now? It's a good job I didn't, though, isn't it? I see what's going on now.